Are you looking for a way to better track and implement your Pinterest marketing strategy in 2022? Maybe you're just needing a better system to tell you when to create pins and what to create pins for. Well, my framework system, the Pinterest system, is going to help you to do just that. In this particular video, I am going to walk you through exactly how to use my Pinterest system, but inside of my favorite tool, click up. This is my work life. So we are marrying the Pinterest system spreadsheet together with the Pinterest system ClickUp list. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can manage, implement, track, and maintain your Pinterest strategy inside of this system in this week's video. So let's hop right on into the good stuff. So this is the Pinterest system inside of ClickUp. This is the second version of this that I've created. So this is the more simplified version for this YouTube video specifically. And Right off the bat, I want you to take note of what's across the top and then also the statuses in the system itself. So we have a board view, which I have pinned for myself. And then I always pin the spreadsheet, which is my original Pinterest system inside of our ClickUp Pinterest systems. That way we can still use this because we do use them for analytics, for board and keyword research and all of that stuff. And then I create a calendar view just so if we need to look at a calendar view, we have it there. And then the last and final thing that you get when you're an Academy member, which is pinned to all of our templates uh, for the system is our Pinterest strategy write up. This is basically an outline of a Pinterest strategy. That way, if you ever do bring someone on to help you inside of your Pinterest strategy, they can see exactly how to do things in what order they can find your templates and everything. So I try to make this as simplistic as possible from this template point of view. Now, our statuses in this template are resources to do in progress and closed. The resources or the file cabinet for this Pinterest system are just things for you that you need on a recurring basis inside your Pinterest strategy. So are there specific templates that you use? Do you have a place where you keep all your keyword research? Um, in this, we also have internal notes and client communication. If you were to use this with a client, you were to create this for yourself and use it with a client, you can actually communicate with your clients inside of ClickUp through email without ever having to leave ClickUp and see the entire email thread right here in this one communication card. So I actually love this feature and we do this in the agency for all of our clients. And then anything that is internal when we're managing clients uh, that we want to keep notes on or communicate back and forth, we have one place for that as well. That way our external and internal communication don't get our we don't get our wires crossed and clients aren't seeing communication that they shouldn't see and we're keeping everything in house that should be in house now to start using this you're going to need to populate your content in the to do tab or the to do status you can see that i've gone ahead and created a bunch of pins and i've put those pins in here in the to do and then i've moved a few of those items to the in progress so anything in the to do list is it needs to be done. So the very first thing in the to-do list that I will do is create my pins and then I'll move it to in progress and I will write pin descriptions and titles, anything in addition to what I need here. Now, oftentimes I will use a very similar text overlay to my title, but not all the time. Um, you know, maybe only 30% of the time or so. So in this to-do section, if you wanna go ahead and create your pins, and write your pin titles and descriptions and then move it to in progress when you're ready to schedule it. When it's in progress, that means it has yet to be scheduled and we need to get it into the queue. Now, I left out the original status that is in our version one Academy Pinterest system, which is there's a status here for scheduled, meaning we have put it in scheduled and it has a due date. And that's when you can look at the calendar view. However, you can still look at this calendar view for content that's coming up soon that you've already done. So you will see that um, once I schedule them and they have a recurring due date like this one right here for 2024, um, you will see that in the calendar. So let's actually get started on one of these. Now, if any of these things don't mesh up with the way that you prefer to work, like the statuses, you can always edit them. You can also make checklists and make them templates 
and set up a simple automation to add that checklist to your task. Anytime you add something in here, it'll automatically add that checklist to the task. So for example, if I go in and click and create a really simple automation, and when a status changes to from any to active to do, we are going to apply a template and then we can come in here and we can apply any of these task templates. So let's just say we wanted to apply this social template here, which this isn't gonna match up to Pinterest, but I just want you to see what this looks like. And then we also want to change the assignee and we wanna add ourselves. And then we're gonna click save and that automation is toggled on and it's on. So you have one active automation now. So now anytime we have anything added to our to-do column, we will have a checklist to automatically add with those five items that is in that templated item, that checklist. So I'm actually gonna toggle that off because I don't wanna save this into the automation or into this template for the academy. But I just wanted you to see that that is a possibility there. Now, in the next phase, once we have created everything that we need to create for the pins and we're ready to schedule, next we really need to move into creating a timeline. That's what this whole system, this whole strategy inside of ClickUp is for, is for you to consistently be creating pins for your content and never lose sight of that piece of content where you create it, you pin it once, and you never see it or share it ever again. That is exactly what we are trying to get away from. We want to be strategic in our content sharing and the timeliness of when it gets shared. So I want you to think about this for yourself and maybe you should take a pencil and piece of paper and write this down. But if you have evergreen content and you have a lot of it, you may not be creating pins for that content as often. Maybe you'll only create one pin for it per month. Maybe you will only create one pin for it every other month. I'm going to leave that timeline up to you because that doesn't matter as much as being consistent on the platform. So if you have a large bank of content like I do, you don't necessarily need to be creating pins for it every single week or every single month. That's just overkill. But definitely being consistent and sharing a wide range of content is beneficial. However, let's switch gears to evergreen content. So I have this recurring task right here. You can see it says 1-28-2024. I did not mean to set it out that far when I set this up originally. However, we're pretending like this is a piece of evergreen content. So it's this one right here. So what we're going to do is actually come in here and we're going to remove this and we're going to close that out. That way, because I want, I want to set this up so you can actually see it too. So let's pretend that this is a piece of evergreen content for Easter of this year. And this Easter content I need to start getting pins in the queue for Easter at the end of January. So right now I'm making pins for this. Now you have a couple of options. You can make one pin and have it recur every week until Easter and then you change your recurring due date to be the next year. Or you can go ahead and make a batch of pins and schedule them. Pin one goes week one, pin two goes week two and so on. And then you make this recur next year and you don't have to look or worry about this task again. Now, the great part about using a scheduling tool like Planoly or Tailwind is you can actually pre-schedule that content out. Uh, you can do this with Canva as well, and I do believe so with Later, where you can schedule it in kind of like a campaign or a smart loop where it will actually turn on and turn itself off. Um, I'm going to leave the scheduling kind of strategy up to you, whatever tool you decide to use. But this whole process right here is just to make sure that you're pinning consistently clear up to the holiday in advance and you're not going beyond the holiday. So let's talk about setting due dates. Uh, for the evergreen content, you get to choose if it if you want it to recur every four weeks or if you want it to recur um, monthly on the same day each month, you get to set up your due date for evergreen. However, for more seasonal based content, you will probably want it to recur yearly. And when that status is closed, you have a couple of options here. 
you can have it create a new task for you and then you can choose what gets pulled into the new task. So this is typically what I will do is I'll have it create a new task and I will have it remove the attachments. So the old pins from last year don't actually come back into this year's task. I need to create all new, all new ones again, all new images. However, I will keep my description, which includes my title and my description for the pin. That way I know what I used last year and I can use that as a foundation this year. And then I'll click save. And then I want it to start here. I want it to update status to to do. So I'm actually going to set this to be a shorter timeline. That way you can actually see this in real time and it doesn't have a due date of like next year. So we're going to say this is going to be due today. And it's when I close this out, it's going to recur this again for a month from now. And we're just going to pretend it's going to be a year. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to mark this as done. I created all these pins. I scheduled all these pins. And now I need this task to recur again, but later. And there it is. There it's recurring again, but it's going to recur on February 24th. So. I want you to set up your recurring due date according to when the holiday takes place, plus or minus 30 to 90 days. So you want to back up your time frame to be 30 to 90 days in advance of the holiday. I talk about this a lot with the um, Pinterest trends. So if you ever have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. However, that's it. That's the basics of using your ClickUp system, your ClickUp Pinterest system to maintain and stay on top of your consistent content creation on Pinterest. Now that you've seen the inner workings of the Pinterest system version 2022 and how you can use it in your own business to track, implement, and manage your Pinterest marketing strategy to know what content to create, when to create it, what description you use last, tracking your titles, tracking your images, all the good stuff. If you want this exact template and you don't want to have to rebuild it, I'm offering it to you inside of the Pin Profit Academy, my flagship little membership offer. Um, I have a whole Pinterest course in there. I have a whole ClickUp course in there. You name it, there are resources in that academy for you, including today's ClickUp tutorial and this list. So if you want this template, you can go ahead and swipe that by going to the description below or going to Pin Profit Academy and grabbing it today. Now, if you don't wanna do that, that's okay. You can recreate it on your own. If you want more Pinterest marketing tutorials, workflows, strategy, head right on over here and watch those videos. And that's it for this week. I'll see you next time.